Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, and we're at it again. Welcome to Joe's Landscaping. Uh, today we're going to be blowing out an irrigation system with seven zones. If you don't know how many zones there are, then just go outside and open up the box. Or if you are familiar with the timer, you could pop open the timer and there'll be a certain amount of wires. This, uh, all irrigation systems are the same concept, but could have potentially different timers. This timer is set to off and the water is still on. What you're going to want to do is locate where your water is in your house. Follow it from the um, foundation, bring it up, Folk go past the meter because you have to pay for it. There'll be some shutoffs. There'll be a couple other valves depending on you. Oh, and then here's a T. And this system so happens to be inside. Some systems are outside and they usually tag it. And then if you follow it, it will go outside and usually a wire comes in going to the timer. So what you want to do is follow, uh, go back up. Any valve is fine, but I've been shutting off the top one. It, uh, these valves are in um, line with the water. So if the valve is up and down, the water is constantly flowing. So what we're going to do is double check the markings. If you don't know, turn the water off. Now the water will come out and it will stop right here. You do not have to turn this off um, if you don't want to, but the top part is pretty good in a sense where whatever's left will come out and drain. And now we go outside. I'm sorry, if you want to kill two birds with one stone and you want to turn on your zone that you're going to blow out, some makes and models will let you run through each zone. Um, for me, it's very easy to just do manual one station on this. It's going to run for 10 minutes. I want to bring it up to 20. Oh, sorry. I want to bring it up to 30 because I want to blow it out twice. And each, um, the compressor takes about 10 minutes each. And then this blinks, 30 minutes, zone one, and then you want to bring it to run. Right now, it's set for 30 minutes. The water is off, and nothing is being called outside. Okay, here we are outside. You want to locate the spigot. You want to turn it off, on. This spigot so happens to be up and down. Other spigots are left and right as far as, you know, this way, that way. So it's all the way on. Okay, no water's coming out because unfortunately they plumbed it in where it's up. If Again, if you do not know what kind of system or how many valves, what you can do... Well, oh, that's nice. There's a couple of rocks here. Please hold. If this is a system you're not familiar with, or is this is a system that you're currently blowing out for a friend, family, or even just a client, you don't know how many zones there are, and you don't even, and they don't know, you're just going down inside your box, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the best part is the boxes are never done correctly, in my, in my opinion. Like everything, like the, this valve is crooked, like sideways, that valve is sideways, and the ones in the middle are great. So it's like, just either get the right box or just do the right do job. Tons and tons of bugs. I disturbed the hell out of something. You can tell, look at all this, huh? They got food. But that takes away from the video. So what you want to do is get your device here. JK18 made one of these for me. I think he made a video. I will check the interwebs and put that link in the description. You want to put one side on the spigot. Just like this. Tighten it up. It doesn't have to be that crazy. Well, I just made a mess. Oh, yeah. I want to move this off camera. Oof. Let me just move this because what's happening has nothing to do with the video but now the answer scurrying so okay so this is as pretty tight it's just air so the air is going to go in hit that valve and then come back down and go into one of these that's open we already opened number one so it doesn't matter this is extremely long you can make it as short or long as you want you install it into the 
correct application on your compressor. If I could do it with one hand, I can't. Okay, here we go. This application has a uh, hose. You lop off. This just so happened to be maybe hot. Doesn't matter. You lop it off. You put, I don't have the correct lingo. You put this piece in here. Da, da, da. You have a valve. Da, 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 da. That's the uh, one of the only homeowner ways to do this. So now the valve is on from the basement. And let's see. I like to turn the air compressor off because then it'll just turn on. You want to walk around if you want. You can double check your heads. Also, before blowing your system out, totally up to you, you can turn each zone on and make sure going into the winter season that all your heads are operating correctly. That is an option and that is your opinion to do so. I find it, depending on what kind of time and or just time. I don't even know what to say. If I find that I have enough time, I'll do it. Uh, recently, I don't, so this is almost basically looking around, and if the air is coming out, chances are your situation is pretty good. So we're going to go through all seven zones two times each. Stand by. What a fine sound and a fine situation. Zone 5, blowing out. So far, everything is working out. Two full chooches every zone to get that water out that you don't want to freeze in the head. We're trucking along. So that's going to conclude blowing out seven zones, two times each. When you're done blowing it out, put your equipment away, put the top of the um, valve covers back. You could leave the spigot open if you want since the water is closed or shut. And when you come downstairs to your timer, just go to it and go to off. Leave it plugged in and leave the batteries alone and we'll see you next season hit like and subscribe and take it easy